And we're going to talk about one of those issues I said the government could be doing more, and that is reforming education. Now, a lot of students have only been back in the classroom a couple of days, many just going back today. But uh, already um, there's a, a survey out uh, about teachers feeling burnt out. It says that... Uh, 90% of teachers say they don't have enough time to adequately prepare for their classes. The Grattan Institute has run this survey and it's calling for the federal government to spend a whopping $60 million extra on pilot studies to fix the issue. Wow, just keep throwing money at the problem, hey? Survey any group of workers, in my view, and they'll tell you they're too busy and not well enough to resource. But let's find out what a true education expert has got to say about this. Let's catch up with Dr Kevin Donnelly again, who's a senior research fellow at the Australian Catholic University, and he's advised the federal government on national curriculum and other matters. Uh, does this surprise you, Kevin, that uh, most teachers reckon they're burnt out and don't get enough time to prepare for classes? Well, firstly, uh, thank you very much for having me back on the show. And I'm glad to see uh, all of those books behind you, some of that I've actually read, which is uh, good to see. But, I mean, this is a problem that's been there for many years, and I can... I don't always agree with the Australian Education Union, but they've been doing surveys uh, for the last 20 years or so. And one of the perennial problems is the fact that teachers, especially beginning teachers, uh, they feel they're overworked. There's a lot of anxiety and stress. I taught for 18 years. I've got family who taught. It is a problem. So I don't think it's just teachers complaining. I think they have a real argument here that the way education is being structured by state and federal governments, the overcrowded curriculum, uh, too much assessment, the way it's done now, a lot of bureaucracy and red tape, it is making it far more difficult for teachers to actually do what they want to do, which is to teach and to motivate and engage and educate young children. See, that's such an important point, right? Because we do know that a lot of strains on teachers. God knows how teachers who are parents have coped over the past couple of years running homeschooling from home while they've been looking with their own, look after their own kids doing homeschooling. But uh, what you've, you and I have talked before about trying to pare back the curriculum. You're the expert on that, saying to make it simpler, to focus on the basics. Not only is that then better for our students, they get a better education, but you're saying it actually helps the teachers by not crowding out their day with unnecessary items. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, when, when I was teaching many years ago, it was relatively straightforward compared to now. I taught English, whether it was poetry or literature or uh, writing a, a, an essay, how to do, you know, for example, grammar or syntax. But when you look at what teachers have to do now, especially in primary school, they've got wellness, they've got stranger danger, cyberbullying, sexting, all of these gender programs about boys can be girls, girls can be boys. It goes on and on. And what happens is, as the Americans would say, you have a curriculum which is a mile wide and an inch deep. When I reviewed the national curriculum, I co-chaired that review, I argued cut it back 40 50%. Get back to what's essential knowledge, understanding and skills concentrate on that and if teachers can concentrate on on the basics as it were then that gives them the energy and the resources to focus on what's important rather than doing all of this other stuff the other question here is uh assessment when i did reports many years ago it was a one-page report it was a to e uh, e meant fail back then or you gave a numerical assessment out of 10 say now, when you look at what parents are getting when it comes home in terms of assessment, they're getting pages and pages about their kid. Often teachers are spending weeks writing these reports and uh, they're just not doing what they should do, which is to tell parents clearly what standard their kid is at. Yes, I spent, uh, we spent about an hour or so going through uh, the reports from last year with our kids last night. And uh, there, were some, um, there, there, was, there were some good conversations to be had. Thanks for joining us, Kevin. I really appreciate it. This is such an important issue, not just to get the education improved for our kids, but I reckon this is what the federal government should be talking about to, uh, to improve its chances at the election, to stand up for its values.